Hi and welcome to Love Our Travels. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 tourist attractions in the amazing city of London here in the United Kingdom. London is an amazing city. No wonder why millions of foreign enthusiastic tourists, students and permanent residents go to London each and every passing year. With its long and fairy tale like history revealing itself in everyday life, in its architectural masterpieces, in its cultural and social diversity, and of course, its unbelievable stories. London is such a diverse and exciting city, with some of the world's best sites, attractions and activities. With so much to do, it's hard to narrow down the long list of reasons for you to visit, but here you'll find our top 10. For the first tourist attraction on our list, it has to be the one and only Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is well known as the official London residence of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. The palace has served as the official London residence of all UK sovereigns since 1837. Located in the city of Westminster, the palace has long been a focal point for the British people at times of national rejoicing and sadly at times of national mourning. Although the palace is in use for many official events and receptions held by the Queen, the staterooms at Buckingham Palace are open to visitors every summer. Tickets are essential and make sure you book early to avoid disappointment. No trip to London is complete without popping by to say hello to Queen Liz at Buckingham Palace. For the next attraction on our list, we're going to be taking a look at the amazing London Eye. A trip on the London Eye is truly captivating and is a must do. In fact, it's been London's number one visitor experience now for over a decade. Located on South Bank, step into your capsule and feel the exhilaration as you rise up over the Thames. Come face to face with the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben before soaring above them, up to 135 metres on the world's tallest observation wheel. There are mesmerising 360 degree views of the capital laid out right before you, including London's most famous landmarks and up to 40 kilometres out of the city to Windsor Castle on a clear day. It's clear to see why the London Eye is the most visited tourist attraction in the city of London. Next, we're going to be looking at a more historical part of the city and for this we're heading to the Tower of London. Discover London's Castle, a secure fortress, royal palace and infamous prison where you can explore 1,000 years of history. Prepare to be dazzled by the breathtaking world famous Crown Jewels. Take a yeoman water tour and hear the captivating stories of pain, passion, treachery and torture. Meet the famous ravens and discover why they are known as the guardians of the tower and marvel at the imposing white tower, a magnificent example of normal architecture at the heart of the Tower of London. And if you're into horrible history, then you can visit the very spot where Queen Anne Boleyn was beheaded by the not so very nice King Henry VIII. For our next attraction, we're heading to the Natural History Museum, which is a great day out for the entire family. See hundreds of exciting and interactive exhibits in one of London's most beautiful landmark buildings. Highlights inside the amazing museum include the popular Dinosaurs Gallery, mammals with its unforgettable model blue whale and the spectacular Central Hall, which is home to the museum's iconic Diplodocus skeleton. Don't miss the state-of-the-art cocoon, where on a self-guided tour you can see hundreds of fascinating specimens and look into laboratories where you can see real-life scientists at work. Entry to the museum is completely free of charge, however we do recommend booking your slot to make sure you're not disappointed. For our next attraction, we're going to be taking a look at one of the newer kids on the London block, which is the View from the Shard. Welcome to the View from the Shard, the premium visitor attraction located at the top of Western Europe's tallest building. At a height of up to 800 feet and almost twice the height of any other vantage point in London, visitors will experience unrivaled 360 degree views of the city for up to 40 miles on a clear day. 
begin your journey in the extraordinary high speed lifts that carry you from level 1 to level 68 in just 60 seconds. Once there, enjoy spectacular panoramic views of the capital from the level 69 observation deck whilst unwinding with a nice cold glass of champagne or share a moment with a loved one spotting London's famous landmarks from the open air sky deck on level 72. Surrounded by the city's most notable attractions, the high life awaits you at the view from the Shard. For the next must-see tourist attraction on our list, we're going to be taking a look at the fantastic British Museum. The British Museum is a great day out in London and there's something for everyone of all ages to enjoy. Founded in 1753, the museum's remarkable collection spans over 2 million years of human history. Enjoy a unique comparison of the treasures of world cultures all under one roof and all centred around the magnificent Great Court. See world famous objects such as a Rosetta Stone, Parthian sculptures and Egyptian mummies which are visited by up to 6 million visitors per year. In addition to the vast permanent collection, the museum's special exhibitions, displays and events are all designed to advance the understanding of the collection and the cultures they represent. It's not hard to see why the British Museum is one of London's most popular and most visited tourist attractions. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the world famous Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. The Palace of Westminster, better known today as the Houses of Parliament, is the oldest royal palace in London, a world heritage site and one of the most recognised buildings in the world. The Houses of Parliament and the Elizabeth Tower, which is commonly known as Big Ben, are amongst London's most iconic landmarks and must-see London attractions. Big Ben is probably the world's most famous clock. That iconic silhouette is instantly recognisable and is one of the most Instagrammed landmarks in the entire planet. Six monarchs and 41 prime ministers have come and gone since the bells first struck their now familiar music across Westminster. There's plenty of ways to see Westminster and of course Big Ben, but I personally recommend taking a river cruise down the Thames so you can see the building in all of its glory. Next, we're off to the royal residences of the beautiful Kensington Palace. Kensington Palace is still a working royal residence of great historical importance. The palace was favourite residence of successive sovereigns until 1760 and was also the birthplace and childhood home of Queen Victoria. Today, Kensington Palace contains the offices and London residences of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Currently on display is the wedding dress of Diana, Princess of Wales, which is on show for the first time at Kensington Palace in 25 years. In addition to a rare surviving tool for the 1937 coronation gown of Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. If that isn't enough to wet your whistle, then you can also enjoy a traditional English tea in the gardens of Kensington Palace. The only question you need to ask yourself is, does the jam or the cream go on my scone first? For our next must-see attraction, we're heading slightly out of central London to Watford, where we're going to be taking a look at the Warner Brothers studio tour, The Making of Harry Potter. Experience the magic of the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Explore iconic sets and discover what it took to bring the Harry Potter films to life at the Warner Brothers studio tour. As soon as you arrive at The Making of Harry Potter, you are instantly catapulted into the magical world of witchcraft and wizardry. Begin your tour in the Great Hall, then continue to Dumbledore's office, the Ministry of Magic, Four Privet Drive and the Gryffindor Common Room and take a stroll down the world-famous Diagon Alley. Don't forget to take your camera as you will be snapping photographs at Platform 9 and 3 quarters and on board the Hogwarts Express. Take a seat on the night bus and marvel at a scale model of Hogwarts Castle, which was used in all of the Harry Potter films. Whilst you're there, don't forget to take your very own sip of the famous butterbeer, which I can vouch for is absolutely delicious. Whether you're a Harry Potter fan or not, this is a great day out for the entire family. 
Now it's time to take a look at our last but not our least must-see attraction in London and for this we're looking at the beautiful Covent Garden. Covent Garden is a district in London on the eastern fringes of the West End between St Martin's Lane and Drury Lane. It is associated with the former fruit and vegetable market in the central square and it's now a popular shopping and tourist destination and with the Royal Opera House itself known as Covent Garden. Covent Garden is a world-class shopping and dining destination, attracting food lovers and fashionistas alike. Buzzing with the excitement of the opera and theatreland, the area boasts some of the best shopping and dining destination in London's West End. The area is extremely well known for its collective of street performers, which include mime artists, sword swallowers, acrobats and magicians, just to name a few. If you want to be entertained, wined and dined and shopped till you drop, then Covent Garden is definitely a must-see attraction for your next London city break. Sadly, we've now come to the end of our top 10 tourist attractions in the City of London, but there is plenty more to do and see in this fantastic and vibrant city. I would love to know what your favourite attraction in London is. And if it hasn't made our list, please pop a comment in the box below and we'll try to feature them in our next video. If you would like to see or experience any of the attractions featured in today's video, then I've put the links in the description below. We really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video about our top 10 tourist attractions in the magnificent city of London. And if you have, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really does mean the world. Thank you and I hope to see you again here back at Love Our Travels very soon.